In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Blend for Web to set up reflections in a 3D web scene. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Set Recommended Options. In Object Properties, set the X location and the Z location of the cube to 2. Add Mesh Monkey and set the X location to minus 2 and the Z location to 2. Add Mesh Plane, press S to scale 6 and enter. To add a material to the plane, click the Material button, click the New Material button. The cube already has a material, click the Diffuse colour and I'm going to make it a bright cyan colour. Select the monkey, click the New Material button, click the Diffuse colour and I'm going to make the monkey a bright magenta colour. Select the plane. To make it reflective, in Object Properties, in the Real-Time Reflections panel, click Reflective. Notice that there's a field for a reflective plane. I'll come back to that later. Selecting the monkey, I'm not going to make it reflective. It won't reflect the other objects in the scene but I am going to make it reflexible so that we can see its reflection in the other objects. Selecting the cube, I'm going to make it reflexible so that we can see its reflection in the plane. I'm also going to make it reflective so that we can see the monkey's reflection in the cube. For the reflective type, there is a choice of plane or cube. As the object is a cube, I'm going to select cube. Changing the view to the top view, I'm going to move the lamp so that it lights up the monkey's face. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. If I click fast preview, to view the scene in a web browser, there will be no reflections. If I select the plane, for the reflections to work in the material properties, in the mirror panel, I must click show reflectivity and I must set the reflectivity to a value greater than zero. If I want the cube to show reflections, I must do the same. This time I'm going to set the reflectivity to its maximum value 1, equivalent to a perfect mirror. Before I click Fast Preview, I'm going to click Enable Synchronization between Viewer and Blender. Now each preview will be created in a new tab, which is handy for comparing old and new versions of the scene. We get a reflection of the monkey and the cube in the plane. We get a reflection of the monkey in the cube. And we get a reflection of the reflection in the plane. The cube appears black because it reflects the darkness of space. There is a yellow warning light which I will fix later. And the quality of the reflection could be better. Around the ear you can see the jagged edges of pixels. Back in Blender, to improve the quality of the reflections, in the Render Properties, in the Reflections panel, there is a quality setting. You have to balance quality against performance. I'm going to set the quality to high. My reflective objects are reflecting the darkness of space, so in the World Properties I'm going to add a sky. Set the Horizon Colour red value to 0.2, the green value to 0.3 and the blue value to 
by default the sky will be reflected in reflective objects and we can show the sky background in the 3D view. I am going to reduce the reflectivity of the cube to 0.3 and increase the reflectivity of the plane to 0.9. The cube is now showing its cyan colour. The plane is now like a mirror reflecting the sky. If I change the sky colour, the cube is still cyan, but the plane takes on the new sky colour. We still have a yellow warning light. To fix that, back in Blender, add empty plane axes. The yellow warning light is because the system is set up to use an empty for the plane of reflection. If there isn't an empty, the system will use the plane, but using an empty gives more flexibility. To illustrate the point, I'll move the empty to a different location, setting its Z location to minus two. Select the plane, scroll down, and set the reflective plane to be the empty and click fast preview. Because we have moved the plane of reflection down, the reflections are now much deeper and the yellow warning light has gone. Back in Blender, reset the location of the empty For more realistic reflections, apply the Fresnel effect, select the plane, in the material properties, scroll down, a Fresnel value of 0 is no effect, the maximum value is 5, I'm going to set a value of 3. The Fresnel effect takes into account that depending on the angle the light hits the surface, not all of it is reflected. Clicking Fast Preview. Because slightly less is reflected, the reflective surface is slightly darker. To make the end of the tutorial more dynamic, I'm going to put the plane at an angle. and I'm going to add some physics. Make the cube and the monkey rigid body. And for simplicity, make the collision shape capsule and click fast preview. The objects fall but the angles of the reflections are not right. We've changed the rotation of the plane, but we haven't changed the rotation of the plane of reflection. To cure the problem, we need to apply the same angles to the empty, or better still, make the plane the parent of the empty so that it inherits any rotation. Now clicking Fast Preview, the reflections look correct. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. To subscribe, click the stick man. To sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.